Well, hello and welcome to you on what has been a really wintry evening all over the place. We've had snow particularly in this neck of the woods for most of the day and we have to be extremely grateful for the efforts of this evening's hosts in ensuring that our match here can go ahead as planned. There were reports earlier regarding potential difficulties reaching this venue and you can understand why. Let us hope that not too many have been held up and that the match can go ahead as planned. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. St. Troyd appear to be going with a 3-5-2 formation, Jim. It's a setup that's been enjoying quite a renaissance in recent times and one that complements the counter-attack very nicely with two strikers, two wing-backs and potentially two runners from central midfield. You can understand its attraction because it really can get the numbers into the opposition's box and equally it can get the numbers back into your own. And we're underway. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Up for a throw. Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. I think it's great to see that kind of application and desire from a forward who wants to help out his defence. I, I think, you know, any good team, really, your striker should be the first line of that defence, and, and he's delivering. He's got away. Crosses it in low. Gets good distance on it. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. And he heaves it forward. Dicks one in. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Crosses in a low one. Danger averted for now. One quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Looked very promising. St. Troy just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Tries to get it forward quickly. Just brushed off the ball there. It can only get better, this. We haven't seen a shot yet, and I'm hoping that when we do, it'll spark a whole series of them, because it needs livening up. Aimed long and direct. Played out to the right. And back to base. Plays it out to the wing. Has gone out. Goal now would certainly liven things up. Forward it goes. Who's chasing? Referee's given a throw. And the referee brings the first half to a close. 
So the other team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Do it back on the first 45 minutes. It's been a pretty abject performance. No efforts at goal. I'm struggling to remember the last time we had that. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil nil. And the game has already resumed here. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Plays it out to the flank. Surely. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. Out to the left it goes. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Going through. This is gone, that's a foul. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Perfect placement, the one place the keeper couldn't reach. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. It was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. St. Troy take the lead, 1-0. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out, and it's paid off here. It helps available out wide. Gets up to head it! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Vanda plays it forward out wide to the right Cavanda room for a shot ah oh, now some movement on the bench and we are going to see a change well you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here i think he's been made the scapegoat after that but i guess something had to be done i suppose it did need a little change standard liege showing a little more urgency now and to be honest peter this is what's required well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now jim is it they just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break big chance shot a goal that is gorgeous He's got himself a pitch of a goal. Two to the good. They have breathing space. Oh, look, the keeper didn't know whether he was coming or going in the end, and he just got lost. St. Troy get themselves a two-goal cushion. Tries to get it forward quickly. 
Here it comes. We have got ourselves a game here. Well, they've given themselves a chance here, but now it's a case of getting the balance right between attack and defence, and that's not easy. Forward it goes. Coach through there. He's left his man. St. Troy can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Cavanda conjuring up some magic on the right-hand side. Pushes it out wide. Played back in. Get that clear. Think that's offside. Yes, it is. The final act. St. Troy have held on a knife edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. So, what do you take away from it all, Jim? Look, a win's a win. Sometimes it's not as you'd like, but you have to find a way to produce what you need, and I thought they did that. And with that, it's time for me to thank Jim Beglin and to wish you a very good evening.